So this lesson, we're just looking at the context of the geometric sequences. In other words, when do they pop up in an actual example with context? Okay, where some would be annuities, compound interest, okay, and growth and decay. Okay, so looking at this first example here, we've got a flower pot that's worth $850 and it decreases by 7% per year. I'm just gonna say, let V of N represent value after N years. Okay, because what I then wanna eventually do is find out what V of 13 is. That is what this here will give me. Okay, and I can't really do much without establishing a V of N. Okay, so our first term of our geometric sequence would be 850 multiplied by 0 0.93, and that is because we are decreasing, we are decreasing by 7% per year. So that is like saying we're finding 93% of what it's worth because we've taken off 7%. So that's where that 0 0.93 comes from, and it would equal 93% of 850 for the first term because V of N is representing after N years. So this is after one year, it would be worth $790.50. Okay, second year we could do this again. We're gonna say right now we've got $790.50. I'm gonna multiply that by 0 0.93. $735.50. And 17 cents roughly. Okay. V of three. All right. Just so we can write this out clearly, okay, is that this was V of two. And that's what this was here. So instead of writing out 735.17 and finding 93% of that, I know that was really just this. And then I'm going to find 93% of that. And so hopefully we can see what's coming out here is a geometric sequence because this simplified is just this, which should look very familiar. Okay, we would get $683.70. Okay, so $683.70. All right, and we can see here something emerging. We can see that we've got a common ratio of 0 0.93 and the first term I'm, at least I'm going to write it as V of 1 is 790 and 50 cents. So then that means that V of N is equal to the first term multiplied by the common ratio to the power of N minus 1. So I can use that to then find the 13th term. Dot, 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 dot. V of 13 is equal to 790.50 cents multiplied by 0 0.93 to the power of 12. Okay, and it's worth $330.90 after 13 years. 3,500 is put into a savers account, 1.2% of compound interest per month. Calculate the amount, the amount after 14 months. So you would have normally seen this style of question as compound interest. Okay, and we're not, we're not gonna treat it any differently. Okay, in order to answer the question and have a look at the compound interest formula, we can see that it is geometric by nature, where this section of it is the ratio, and this section of it is our first term. All right, well, we've got $3,500, that's what P is, okay, and I, because we're, everything's in terms of monthly here, I is just 0 0.012 and N is equal to 14. Okay, so here our time unit is months. After 14 months, we would just plug it in. We'd say we've got 3,500 outside of 1.012 to the power of 14. And then we just plug all this in here. Okay, and then so you say, well, therefore the amount is $4,136.14 after 14 months.